in lecture example one, we look at when section 24J applies. So example 1.1. XXX is a taxpayer. Now, XXX, you'll see when we look at the required, we have two situations where XXX is a company and where it is a natural person. All right. Um, XXX entered into, into the following agreements during the year. Agreement A, XXX obtained a 100,000 rands loan from the bank, and this loan carries an annual interest rate of 11% and must be repaid within 11 months. So if you've obtained a loan, it means you are going to be paying interest. So in this case, XXX equals what? The issuer, because they are going to be paying interest. Agreement B, XXX obtained a 100,000 rands loan from the bank. The loan carries an annual interest of 11% and must be repaid within 24 months. The interest payable on the loan is deferred to the time when the capital is repaid. So again, guys, here we have again, XXX is also going to be paying interest, so XXX is the issuer. Agreement C, XXX issued 200,000 rands debenture. So issued a 200,000 rands debenture, carries a coupon rate of 10%, will be redeemed within 8 months at a premium of 10%. So again, XXX is the issuer. In agreement D, XXX issued 300,000 rands, that carries a coupon rate of 8%, right? So XXX is an issuer. Now, why is this important for us? Because if we look at when section 24J is applicable, if, it's an I if we are the issuer, it must be an instrument. Right, now, if it's an instrument, remember, it is any arrangement which has debt. It doesn't matter if you're a company or natural person. There's no period attached to it or anything like that. It is, just to remind you, when you're an issuer, in relation to an instrument, they basically just tell you that is the amount. There's no special rule around how long that should take. Okay, so, what does it mean for us? In all of these situations here in situation a and b section 24j will apply okay compared to example 1.2 why 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 is the taxpayer entered into the following agreement same thing um, sorry guys i see is one or two references on the screen here to xxx this is referring to why 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 that will be correct in your notes, right? So, uh, why, why, why? So, what happens if why, why is a company and what happens if it's a natural person? Same type of agreement. So, yeah, why, why, why issued a 100,000 rands loan. So, they are the ones that gave out the loan. So, what does it mean for why, why, why? It means why, why is going to be receiving interest. So, they are a holder. Why, why issued a 100,000 rands. Um, so, again, issued a 100,000 rands um, loan. And this will be to the bank, basically. So again, holder, while I obtained the 200,000 rand debenture, so they took out the debenture, or they, they, they purchased the debenture from someone, so they will be receiving interest. And again, the same with agreement D. So in all of these situations, they are the holder. If you are the holder, it only applies to income instruments. Now, an income instrument for a company equals any instrument. Now, remember what that means. If it equals any instrument, it means anything of interest. But for a non-company, it is an instrument, right, plus more than 12-month period, plus there is a discount or a premium. That applies to this. So, when we look at the first one, agreement A, this must be repaid within 11 months. So, this is not an in So, if you are a company, so let's just talk about it. For a company, Section 24J will apply, but for a non company, or for a natural person, it will not apply because it's only 11 months. Agreement B, this is for 24 months. For a company, it will apply because it's an instrument. For a natural person, it will also apply because it's for 24 months. And in this case, it is basically um, the first. So just to also take you back to income instrument, they tell you it's where it's issued, acquired, or discount, or it bears deferred interest. That is an income instrument. Okay, so it will apply to both. Agreement C. Um, 
is for a period of eight months. So for a company, yes, it will apply because it doesn't matter the period. But for a natural person, it will not apply because it's less than um, 12 months. Agreement D is for 24 months. It was issued at a discount. So for a company, it will apply. And for a natural person, it will apply because that will be an instrument.